Hey, I'm Fathom, and I recently made a cover video of the Beatles' Strawberry Fields Forever using only instruments that I had made at home. That is, you can't know too new, but it's alright. That is, I think it's not too bad. And featuring nine miniature sets that I made mostly using cardboard and popsicle sticks and that sort of thing. And I wanted to kind of pull back the curtain to share some of the processes that were involved in making this video and also take a closer look at the instruments. Let's get stuck in. I hope you enjoy it. This is the first instrument that I want to look at today. It's something I call a lyotar and I made it during the first lockdown here in New Zealand. I'm not an essential worker, which means that when that lockdown started, I had a whole lot of free time on my hands to mooch around. One of the ways that I occupied that time was to make little cover videos of songs that I really liked. Maybe that's where this started. <laughs> I wrote an arrangement for one of the songs that I was covering that featured a cello, except I've never played cello and I don't own a cello or a bow or any of that. I couldn't really leave the house or go to a store or anything, so I did a little googling and went down to the basement and found an old fence post and raided the recycling bin and found a tin can and I had some leftover guitar strings. Sort of hooked them all up together and ended up with something that looked like this. I also didn't have a bow, so I went to the yard and I found this stick. This is actually the original bow. I strung it with nylon fishing line. Predictably, I also didn't have rosin, which is what you put on a violin or cello bow to give it the sticky quality that allows it to make sound when you rub it against um, the strings. I looked it up and found that, if I remember correctly, it's made by combining beeswax and tree resin. There were some pine trees at a nearby beach, so I walked down and harvested some resin and rubbed that on the bow instead. Surprisingly, it, it did what I wanted it to do. Here's a little clip of that cover video featuring the earliest iteration of, of this contraption. When all that's lockdown ended, I had had such a good time making these instruments. Oh no, apparently all our neighbors are doing their lawns today. <laughs> I'd had such a good time making these instruments that I thought I could do a much better job given access to hardware stores and the like. So I went to a demolition yard, I bought some native timber floorboards that had been ripped out of a house, and also this old wine box. Simply put, I put them together and I made this. It's the bottom four strings of a guitar, harpsichord tuning pegs, which I got from a really good friend of mine who builds harpsichords. It sounds like this. Given that there's a whole big string section in Strawberry Fields, this of course featured quite heavily. Let's take a closer look at what the Lyrotar, which I doubled <laughs> and tripled and quadrupled, is doing in the Strawberry Fields recording. I'm going to strawberry Nothing is real And nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever Strawberry fields forever So that's it. The Lyotar. <laughs> 